in the bustling kitchen of a renowned restaurant, the atmosphere was electric with the clanging of pots, the sizzle of food on the grill, and the intense focus of chefs creating exquisite dishes. At a sleek, modern chef's table, two head chefs, Mr. James Oliver and Ms. Sophia Martin, were taking a rare break to engage in a lively conversation about the latest trends and strategies in culinary arts. The warm kitchen lights cast a glow on their discussion about precision, challenges, and personal experiences in creating innovative and delectable dishes. Sophia, with the culinary world evolving so rapidly, it's crucial to keep up with the latest trends and techniques. Just last week, we introduced molecular gastronomy elements into our menu. It was a hit, but it also posed some significant challenges. What about you? Have you experienced any particular trends or challenges recently that highlight the importance of staying ahead in culinary arts? Absolutely, James. We've been experimenting with farm-to-table concepts, integrating more local and seasonal ingredients. The challenge is maintaining consistency and quality while adapting to what's available. But I think the most significant factor in achieving success is the balance between innovation and tradition. For example, I recently created a dish combining traditional French techniques with modern Asian flavors. It was a gamble, but it paid off. That sounds incredible, Sophia. For me, the key has been understanding our ingredients deeply. Using sous vide has revolutionized how we cook meats allowing us to enhance flavors and textures in ways that weren't possible before. Sous vide is fantastic. It's all about precision and control, but I think it also comes down to the quality of the ingredients we use. We've switched to sourcing from small, sustainable farms. It's more work but the difference in flavor is undeniable. Question. Sophia, in your opinion, what is the most significant factor in achieving successful culinary creations? A. Integration of advanced cooking techniques with traditional methods. B. Use of high-quality, sustainable ingredients. C. Creative plating and presentation. Answer. B. Use of high-quality, sustainable ingredients. James, I believe that using high-quality, sustainable ingredients, option B, is the most significant factor. The freshness and quality of the ingredients can elevate a dish beyond technique and presentation. I agree, Sophia. The foundation of any great dish is the ingredients. Without the best produce, even the most advanced techniques won't shine. As their conversation continued, James and Sophia discussed various techniques for integrating traditional and modern cooking methods and how they have personally benefited from focusing on the quality of ingredients. James, another area we've been focusing on is the dining experience itself. We've been redesigning our restaurant layout to create a more immersive experience for our guests. How do you think the physical environment of a restaurant impacts the overall dining experience? Question, James, 
How do you think the physical environment of a restaurant impacts the overall dining experience? A. It sets the mood and enhances the flavor of the food. B. It influences the guest's perception of the service quality. C. It creates memorable experiences that encourage repeat visits. Answer. A. It sets the mood and enhances the flavor of the food. Sophia, I believe the physical environment of a restaurant, option A, sets the mood and enhances the flavor of the food. The ambiance can influence how guests perceive the flavors and enjoy their meals. Absolutely. The right lighting, decor, and even the music can make a huge difference. We've been using more natural elements in our decor to create a relaxed, inviting atmosphere. That's a great idea. We've been experimenting with open kitchen designs to make the cooking process part of the dining experience. It's a bit nerve-wracking, but guests love seeing their food being prepared in real time. They delved deeper into the topic, discussing different design elements and how these advancements can help enhance the dining experience, sharing personal stories of how their restaurant environments have positively impacted guest satisfaction. Sophia Let's not forget about the importance of the team in the kitchen. We've recently started implementing regular team building activities and it's made a noticeable difference in our efficiency and morale. How do you foster teamwork and communication among your staff? Question. Sophia. How do you foster teamwork and communication among your staff in the kitchen? A. Organizing regular team building activities. B. Encouraging open communication and feedback. C. Implementing a mentorship program for junior chefs. Answer. B. Encouraging open communication and feedback. James, I believe that encouraging open communication and feedback, option B, is crucial. It helps to create a supportive environment where everyone feels valued and heard, which is essential for a cohesive team. I completely agree. When everyone feels they can speak up and share ideas, it fosters innovation and collaboration. Exactly. We hold regular meetings where the entire team can discuss what's working and what's not. It's amazing how many great ideas come from those sessions. They explored various examples of how effective communication and teamwork have helped in raising the level of innovation and efficiency in their kitchens and discussed the benefits of maintaining an open and collaborative environment. James, with all these factors in mind, what do you think is the most important step we can take right now to encourage more chefs to adopt these best practices? I think the most important step is to lead by example and mentor the next generation of chefs. By sharing our knowledge and experiences, we can inspire others to embrace these best practices. I agree. James, empowering young chefs with the right tools, knowledge, and support is crucial. Once we have a solid foundation of mentorship and education, it will be much easier to implement these strategies effectively. 
As they wrapped up their discussion, James and Sophia felt more optimistic about the future of culinary arts and the potential for positive change through integrated education, advanced strategies, and supportive communication practices. As the dynamic ambiance of the kitchen continued around them, James and Sophia left with a renewed sense of purpose and determination, inspired by their conversation and hopeful about helping more chefs discover the transformative benefits of innovative and effective culinary practices. Here are five words and phrases related to the theme of head chefs. Advanced cooking techniques. Modern methods used to create precise and innovative dishes. Sustainable ingredients. High quality, fresh ingredients for vibrant flavors and textures. Dining experience. Enhancing the ambiance and environment to improve the overall guest experience. Team collaboration. Ensuring clear and open communication among chefs to foster creativity and problem solving. Mentorship. Guiding and supporting the next generation of chefs to implement best practices in culinary arts.